everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Explore the Spectrum. Today I'm joined with Ken. Ken, how are you doing today? Doing awesome. Thank you. I'm so happy day. to talk with you. You have a uniquely wonderful role inside of our community on helping get organizations a little bit more aware of some of our kids, the struggles and the things that they're going through. Tell us a little bit about advanced behavior resources. So we've been around for a long time. I've been doing this over 40 years, um, and I had developed a, a skill set and experience that I wanted to share with others. So while um, I specialize primarily in working with individuals with complex behavioral needs, most of what I do, however, is I consult across the United States with providers. Uh, I do mentoring uh, with uh, behavior analysts, and I develop and help uh, develop systems for providers around the United States uh, to better support individuals um, on the autism spectrum, but also uh, um, with other diagnoses. Um, as I said, mainly focusing on individuals with complex behavioral needs. So when you say that you're helping consult different professionals, and what capacity does that look like? I know that ABA is one of those uh, therapies that are just overrun with long wait lists and a lot of different parents trying to get their kids in to see these providers. Are you helping them be more efficient or are you helping them have insights to different techniques that they might not be aware of? I mean, sort of, sort of from uh, soup to nuts, helping um, from navigating uh, the different systems. Uh, it could be complicated. Uh, every state operates slightly differently but there are barriers uh, that are consistent across all states. So it's helping to eliminate those barriers, but also um, mostly working with those providers to, to provide more effective services. So for example, there are a number of individuals with profound autism that have behavioral issues, including physical aggression, self-injury, property destruction, uh, inappropriate sexual behaviors. And so I help those um, providers develop systems and individual treatment uh, for those uh, those more challenging uh, behaviors. Uh, part of what I do is what's called performance management, which is help um, those providers develop more efficient systems, as you mentioned, um, and including um, systems to retain employees uh, and, uh, and increase employee satisfaction. Wow, you're really trying to tackle some big mountains there because those are probably the leading causes that we lose some of our therapists is because of different behaviors, because of burnout. Um, you have good clinics that are trying to make big impact in a lot of individuals' lives and keeping them up and running is paramount for our kids to be successful. So praise to you for making, <laughs> working behind the scenes and making this happen for so many different people. But so, you know, we have different parents and different providers that enjoy watching these segments. If you were to give a word of encouragement to the provider specifically, what would you like to say to them? I, I would say that there's there's hope to, uh, to make those changes. There's um, regular uh, advocacy efforts going on uh, with national organizations like the Council for Autism Service Providers, but individual uh, systems as well. So stay involved, stay um, uh, true to the to the to the mission. I believe very strongly that if you focus on the mission for the individual clients, things will things will work out. Uh, people get derailed when they focus on operations over clinical services, and it's always been my. Um, my belief that if you focus on good clinical services, things will fall into place. I love that. And so are you bound by a geographical footprint or are you able to help people universally throughout the country? I imagine that these services could even be utilized worldwide if your footprint could expand to that. And if so, how would somebody find you? Um, the best is through the website, um, advancedbehavioralresources.org. Um, but yeah, I consult with uh, providers across the United States. Um, so yeah, my footprint is not just in, uh, I, I'm physically in Denver, Colorado, but uh, it's nice to, we have now the ability uh, to reach um, people across the globe through this mechanism. Uh, I do some teaching as well, and that's nice. I get to, a chance to connect with people even in other countries uh, who otherwise wouldn't have access uh, to this technology. 
And so what is that web address so that anybody that's listening can jot it down? It's advancedbehavioralresources.org. Perfect. What a great work, what great work you're doing in the community and what um, value you're providing, because I'm telling you, ABA therapy, for all the good and bad press that it gets at different times, it really does make a difference. And keeping those clinics that are doing good in the world up and running is paramount. It really, truly is. So much appreciation to you for working with all of the different government institutions and the different groups across the country and trying to help support these individuals, both professionally and families. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And to all of those that are joining us, I thank you as we continue to explore the possibilities.